Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz, thank you for hosting today's event. It's a pleasure to be here in your district. You are a selfless advocate for the well-being of children and your support for the CPSC has meant so much to me personally and, and my agency. Your constituents are fortunate to have you as their representative in Congress. We also want to thank the International Swimming Hall of Fame for letting us host this event here today. We're here today uh, for a simple but powerful reason, to save the lives of children in Florida and across the country this summer. With Memorial Day weekend fast approaching, the majority of pools and spas in this country will soon be open. And the CPSC has new and troubling data to share. Our data is showing that an average of 385 drowning deaths and 4,200 submersion injuries each year involving children younger than 15. As you might imagine, the majority of these pool and spa incidents involve children under five. But contrary to what some may believe, pool and spa drownings do not involve a lot of yelling and splashing. They happen quickly and quietly. A toddler wanders out the back door. A child wanders past an open gate. That is why we're here today, to prevent what can happen next. To take up this cause like never before, the pool and spa safety community is joining forces. Here with us today, of course, is Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz, Nancy Baker and Karen Cohn, who have turned tragedy into advocacy. Janet Evans and, and Jason Lezak, proud Olympian swimming champions and parents. Safe Kids USA, American Red Cross, YMCA of the USA, National Drowning Prevention Alliance, Home Safety Council, Abby's Hope, Water, uh, World Water Park Association, the Association of Pool and Spa Professionals, and my agency, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. We are all joining forces today to launch a new program and to show our commitment to the safety of children. We are calling upon families and communities to take simple steps, simple steps that will save lives. We are calling upon families and communities to pool safely. Pool safely, that is the name of our brand new national campaign and it is its call to action. From installing a four foot fence to having a working pool alarm, from securing the back door that leads to the pool to supervising young children every second, second they are in or around water. These are simple and effective steps. This campaign is one of my highest priorities as chairman and one of the highest priorities of the, of the CPSC. We believe in pool safety campaign and we are so pleased to be partnering with Widmire Communications to spread the word about it across this country pool safely. Throughout the year, you will see innovative public servants announcements, online and print advertisement, Facebook apps, online games, grassroots programs, training programs, and activities for families. The funding for this campaign came from Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz and the House Appropriations Committee, and we sincerely thank you for it. The campaign we are launching today is a key part of the CPSC's work to implement the Virginia Graham Baker Pool and Spa Safety Act. This child safety law has made ten, makes tens of thousands of pools safer by increasing the attention of a hidden and awful hazard. The hazard that does not happen quickly or quietly, and that is drain entrapment. Nancy Baker, who was the driving force behind the passage of this important law, will talk to us more about this hidden danger. Parents should know that many public pools and spas across the country have installed newer and safer drain covers as, a, as another step, this step being required by federal law to keep their children safe. And I want to restate a message that I sent to public pool and spa operators when I first arrived at the CPSC last summer. If your facility is not compliant with the Pool and Spa Safety Act, you should not open your pool this summer. The law has been in effect since 2008. There are no excuses at this point. Install the right equipment with, and comply with the law so that you can open and make and help the kids in your community have a fun and a safe place to go this summer. Let me close my remarks today by once again thanking all of our partners who are here today. I am very excited about the Pool Safety Campaign, a Pool Safely Campaign, and I encourage all of you to pool safely. To do it, you will save a life.